a small group of people, we were on the dole, we were climbing full time outside the rest of society, kind of in a way outside part of the climbing world because we were the people that were doing it full time. I mean definitely was a bit of a rebel. Anarcho-punks, anti-Thatcher and vegetarian. It was a beautiful old Victorian house, it would be worth a lot of money now, but it was, you know, it was let to, to us lot. Everybody in the house was, I think, on the dole. To say that, you know, it eventually got closed down by the environmental health, you know, tells it all, really. But what Mrs Thatcher has not been able to stop is the relentless increase in unemployment. Some jobs have been created, but many more have been lost. There's no pressure whatsoever to get a job. Not at all. The growth rate in difficulty was, I think, in the 1980s, greater than at any other period in climate. So I expected myself to go out and do the hardest you do in a new way, because it would like me to do that. The people, the scene, the sheer amount of new rock and improvements in equipment and training, what set that decade apart. And that was my hardest route in the country at the time, and so it was. It was absolute hell. Maybe everyone looks back on their sort of teenage years and thinks that was the best time of my life.